I don't know if you guys have seen um, with AMC, but a Chinese investor that had controlling interest in AMC that actually took the company public back in, I believe, 2013. Yeah, I believe they took um, AMC public back in 2013. But this company, they sold off over $220 million in stock just the other day. The company that sold off was Wanda and uh, Wanda America Entertainment Inc., which is a unit of Chinese company Wanda Group. They sold about 15.6 million shares of AMC um, between um, February 1st, March 19th, and March 20th, according to a filing with the SEC. So... Total, they they have um, about 30.5 million shares left, but they used to have a controlling like stake in AMC. Now they no longer have a controlling stake. They have less than 10%. They only have 6.8% of the company, when before they had basically the entire company. They're the ones who took it public. They had a majority interest in AMC. No longer they have this. And a lot of people, you know, it's caused some people to get worried um, because right now this is like an inflection point for AMC, for movie theaters, and for a lot of these recovery stocks, especially AMC and movie theaters. They're wondering why is this company selling, um, major interest in the stock now? Why didn't they sell it a while ago when right now looks to be like a turning point? So a lot of people are worried about that. Um, AMC, they, you know, they had bought AMC for 2.6 billion back in 2012. They had about 80% when when they took the company public in 2013 so they've gone from owning a hundred percent of the company in 2012 now down to only 6.8 percent caused a lot of people to worry and right now it just concerns some people because this is a turning point for for these um cinemas for movie theaters and a lot of these stocks they're at a turning point where things are actually starting to look a lot better now so people are wondering why now why are they selling this and really it's just because they probably see better opportunities out there they want to invest in other companies still even though movie theaters are turning around they've still been struggling and they're not going to get to pre-pandemic levels at least until probably 2023 early 2023 so we'll have to wait and see what happens there but this is a pretty big announcement and it did drive amc stock price lower right now with amc i, I really like the company i think with godzilla vs kong having a record-breaking weekend i think with vac vaccinations increasing i think with the economy reopening i think there's a lot to like about amc i think they're really hit a turning point i think we're going to continue to see them do very very well over the next couple of months and next couple of years